Hi, it's the Lipstick Gal. Thank you so much for watching today. I am playing with the new Liquid Lorex from Lisa Eldridge. I'm super excited to have these three new Liquid Lorex. These are really one of my favorite one and done eyeshadows. First of all, I never thought that I got along with liquid shadows because I never found a formula that I could get to stay where I wanted it long term. These are the sorts of shadows that I can swipe on my lid, blend out quickly with a finger, and in 60 seconds have both my eyes done. That's what I love about these, and they last really well all day. But I use these just straight from the tube. The three new shades are all inspired by the world of Shakespeare. Um, the names for these are all from Shakespearean heroines. We have Titania, Cressida, and Viola. I'm gonna start by putting just a little bit of Viola on. If you're not familiar with this formula, it comes with a little doe foot applicator. The formula is one where you wanna do one eye at a time. I find that's the easiest and you can layer it. So I'm gonna start by just swiping some on and tapping it out. I find that these do best for me when I don't rub, but when I tap. There are shades that are a little bit darker where I'll take a brush and even after it's set, I find I can really easily blend and buff the edge so it's a little bit more seamless. Super easy, super fast. This is what one layer looks like. I'm gonna build up just a little bit more color on the lid. And I am using this brush just to tap between the lid and the socket line. I'm gonna keep my eyelid closed until this completely dries. I am gonna take a little bit of this on the lower lash line and blend it out with a smaller buffing brush. I'm gonna finish this look with a little bit of mascara and I'll be right back. I threw on a little bit of Lisa's Night Thoughts in the Luxuriously Lucent formula, just for a little bit of added depth on the lip. This is a really beautiful shade. This is one of those, because I am so fair, I wanted to be really careful how I was blending out the edge because it does have a dark base to it. There is some black in this kind of almost dark cherry shade. And I found that I had really good success using kind of a fluffy brush and just taking it, you know, right here and making sure it's well blended. This is one of those shadows that if you do this, even after it's dry, it's not gonna mess up the look. That's one of the things I like the most about this formula. Now, out of all of the liquid Lorexes that I have, this one I feel has a much more of a satin look to it. It's not so much like a bright crushed metal approach, which is fine. It's really, really pretty on the eye and I think it's gonna be beautiful for winter time. The next one I'm gonna try on is the shade Titania. This is one that I have been really excited to play with. Ooh, because this kind of blackened gold or antique gold shade is one of my favorites to wear, especially in the colder seasons. So I'm gonna start by just, oh, look at that. Beautiful. I'm gonna swipe some of this on and start tapping. My husband and I actually um, fell in love while in a Shakespeare play in college. I don't know that I've ever told you this story before. Um, we were cast as love interests in The Tempest and I played Miranda and he was Ferdinand and um, we both really enjoyed acting and had done quite a bit of it. Um, I was a drama minor and we just we just had a lot of fun but our first kiss was actually a stage kiss. <laughs> By the time the production was over, we were no longer just love interests on stage. We were dating. Oh, I love this. I feel like I need to blend just a little bit here. I like that this one's a little bit more metallic. I always love sparkle though. You give me sparkle and I am super happy. Mm. All right, I'm gonna do the other eye. 
I'm gonna swipe on just a little bit more on the lid for a little more luster and sparkle. And I'm gonna use a buffing brush and I'm gonna put a little bit of this right along the lower lash line as well. I love the way this one looks. This one makes me so happy. Let me throw on some mascara. I threw on a thin layer of Velvet Sorcery and I love the way this turned out. This shade in Titania is just stunning. I actually took this one up a little bit higher than I did the first one. You know, you can see it comes up a little bit higher and I was really blending it up towards the, I mean, but literally the easiest thing. You know, talk about perfect one and done eyeshadow. And it gives so much bang for its buck. Mm, I'm so excited about this one. The last one to try on is the lightest of these new shades, and I think the lightest one in the entire collection. This one's called Cressida. This is the one I'm super excited about because I could see myself reaching for this just for like inner corner or a little sparkle on the lower lash line, a little bit, not too much, especially for someone with fair skin. So I'm super excited about this. I'm gonna hit the inner corner with just a little bit more of this on both sides. This was the easiest one for me to blend because it's basically a pearl shade <laughs> and I'm really fair. This one's so pretty. I think I want just a little bit more. I keep adding more and more to the inner corner and then there we go. This is the finished look with Cressida. I really, really like this shade. I especially like the way it looks in the inner corner. It makes my heart so happy. I think this is gonna be something I'm gonna be reaching for when I'm doing looks. I need just a little bit more light in the inner corner. I also like the way that it blends so lightly all the way up to right underneath the eyebrow. I think this is just stunning. I actually took this one from the lid all the way to the eyebrow. I was able to do that because it is the lightest. I'm sure I could have done it with all the other ones as well, but this is the one I feel like is the easiest for me to like quickly, you know, slap dab everywhere, tap, 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 tap eyeliner and mascara, and I'm out the door. Um, but let's do some swatches. Here are the swatches. Up at the very top, I have just a swatch straight from the doe foot, and then at the bottom, I've blended it out a little bit, so you kind of get an idea of what sort of dimension. And this is just, you know, taking the end of it, giving it a little bit of a blend. But this is Viola. Here is Titania. And this is Cressida. I really, really love this formula. I feel like I'm gonna get a ton of use out of Titania and Cressida. This one here in Viola is really pretty. I'm gonna have to play with it a little bit more because I feel like the dark base is something that takes me just a hair longer. This is not like one I can easily just tap, 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 tap and go because there's a little bit more depth in the base and on my fair skin, if I don't get it just right, it looks a little bit cuckoo. But let me show you what these look like compared to the rest of the ones I have. These three here are the new ones. This is Viola, Titania, and Cressida. Then I have two from the original release in Bianca and Angelica. And then three from this summer's release, Emily, Zora, and Anais. And I feel like these two here are similar. And, um, but let me, let me swatch them out for you so you can see. So this is the new one in Cressida, and this is the next lightest shade that I have in Bianca. I think it's actually the next lightest shade that there is in these. And this is Emily. This was kind of like a gold with silver and pink reflect in it, and this is Titania. So Titania is this new kind of deep old gold shade. This one here is um, right here. It has a little bit more vibrancy and yellow to it, where this one tends to go a little bit more bronze. And you can definitely see the difference between this pearl shade and this really pretty soft pink. But I feel like these are the ones that are kind of the closest. I was really curious to see how similar these are, and to me, they're not at all similar. 
I'm so glad I picked these up. This formula is one of the ones that I really count on for days when I want glamour, but I don't have time. You know, I've got like less than 10 minutes to get ready and I need concealer, I need eyebrows, I need lipstick and blush. And if I wanna do an eye look, I will reach for one of these, pat it in, throw on a little mascara and I'm out the door. Um, if I have a little bit more time, I'll take the time to do a little bit of liner as well. But these are so gorgeous, these pair well over the top of powder shadows or cream shadows. These are really lovely. Let me know if you have any of these. Did you pick the new ones up? Do you have favorite shades amongst other liquid Lurex? What are they? And if you have a favorite liquid eyeshadow formula that isn't Lisa's, what is it? And what's your favorite shade? Thank you so, so much for watching. Have an incredible day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.